The Tesla Semi is no longer just a concept on a presentation slide. It's real. It's alive. And it's rolling through the streets, pulling heavy loads with no smoke, no roar, and no compromise. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's here. And it's about to change everything. But while Tesla has delivered the future on wheels, the world it's driving into isn't quite ready. Charging infrastructure is lacking. Regulations are still outdated. And the industry that it aims to disrupt? Still deeply rooted in the diesel era. That's the catch. Tesla's built the machine, but the stage it needs is still being assembled. In the Nevada desert, just outside of Reno, Tesla is building something massive. Not just a plant. A production engine for a revolution. A 4 million square foot facility dedicated exclusively to building the Tesla Semi. That's not a small side project. That's a statement. This is Tesla saying, we're all in. From the ground up, the factory is taking shape. Walls rising, machines being installed, production lines being tested. Behind the first structure, a second is under construction. An area to handle body panel stamping, frame assembly, and final touches. And it's all happening fast. Limited production is set to begin by the end of 2025, with full-scale production rolling in 2026. Tesla has its eyes on a number, 50,000 trucks per year. That's over 130 semis every single day. To hit that pace, the assembly lines will need to run like clockwork. Every 10 minutes, a new electric semi-truck will roll off the line, ready to hit the highways. That kind of output would instantly make Tesla one of the largest Class 8 truck manufacturers in North America. Let's put that into perspective. In 2023, Packard, the parent company of Kenworth and Peterbilt, sold just under 19,000 electric trucks. Volvo was even lower. The entire North American market for Class 8 trucks hovers around 300,000 units annually. So if Tesla hits its target, it won't just be a new player in the game, it will be a dominant force. Tesla isn't waiting for the paint to dry on its new factory. Its semis are already out there, on highways, at distribution centers, on the job. Some have been spotted hauling tandem trailers, pulling full-sized shipping containers, and even navigating mountain passes. Silently. Cleanly. Without a single drop of diesel. PepsiCo was one of the first companies to get its hands on the Tesla Semi. Their Frito-Lay division has been testing a fleet of 15 trucks, running routes up to 400 miles long. Sure, they're mostly delivering lightweight snacks like chips, but it's a proving ground. And it's working. But Tesla didn't stop there. They started ramping up the challenge, adding more trailers, more weight, more difficult terrain. These trucks aren't just moving potato chips anymore. They're showing up at Walmart, the Costco, at Martin Brower distribution centers. They're even transporting Tesla equipment between company facilities. Then came Saya, a massive logistics company that handles less than truckload freight. In early 2025, they began using the Tesla Semi on actual delivery routes. Not just test loops. Real customers. Real freight. Real expectations. The verdict? Remarkable. Drivers reported unheard of comfort levels quick acceleration, and most importantly, efficiency. We're talking numbers that don't sound real. Some Tesla semis have been averaging 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile. For comparison, that's better than some electric SUVs, and these trucks are pulling thousands of pounds of cargo. That changes the economics of freight. No fuel stops. Lower maintenance. Smoother rides. And drastically fewer emissions. But not everything has gone smoothly. In August of 2024, one Tesla semi crashed in the Sierra Nevada mountains. It left the highway, hit a tree, and caught fire. Fortunately, the driver survived, but the incident sent shockwaves through the industry. Not just because it happened, but because of what followed. For the first time in history, the National Transportation Safety Board launched a formal investigation into a crash involving a battery electric semi truck. This wasn't just about finding fault. It was about learning. Understanding how massive lithium-ion batteries behave in high-impact crashes. Figuring out how first responders can safely handle these new types of fires. And ultimately, making electric trucking safer for everyone. It was a wake-up call. Even the best-designed vehicles aren't immune to risk. 
And even progress comes with lessons to learn. But the biggest challenge the Tesla Semi faces isn't engineering. It's infrastructure. These trucks need power, serious power. A single charge requires an enormous amount of electricity, delivered quickly. Right now, only a handful of megachargers exist in the U.S., mostly at Tesla facilities or PepsiCo distribution centers. That's not enough to support a nationwide fleet. Not yet. Tesla is working on it. They've developed the V4 Supercharger, a new generation of charger that delivers up to 500 kilowatts. That's enough to keep the semi moving, though not yet its full charging potential of over a megawatt. Still, it's a step in the right direction. The new V4 stations are taller, more robust, and modular, meaning they can be quickly upgraded and expanded as demand increases. But even Tesla can't build a charging network fast enough on its own. This is where governments, utility companies, and private logistics firms need to step up. Because no matter how fast the truck is, it's only as effective as the energy waiting for it at the next stop. And yet, despite the setbacks, despite the gaps in infrastructure, despite the crash, the Tesla Semi continues to prove one thing. It works. It's not a concept. It's not a prototype. It's a fully operational machine, already being used in the real world. And with each mile, each delivery, each glowing driver review, it gets closer to reshaping the logistics industry as we know it. The year 2025 will be the moment the fuse is lit. The factory will begin limited production, new charging stations will break ground, and more companies will start testing the semi in their fleets. But 2026, that's the explosion. That's when mass production begins. That's when the market shifts. And what happens next? Tesla won't just compete with legacy truck makers. It will force them to evolve. Faster. Cleaner. Smarter. Because once customers experience what an electric semi can do, how quiet, smooth, and efficient it can be, they won't want to go back. So here we are. Standing on the edge of a revolution. The Tesla semi isn't just a truck. It's a declaration. A challenge. A promise that the future of freight doesn't have to run on diesel. That power and sustainability can coexist. That progress is no longer coming. It's already in the lane beside you. The only question now is, will the world catch up? Because the Tesla Semi is ready.